rather late returning from your nighttime adventures, milady. I was getting rather concerned for your well-being. Yes, madam, I understand. And I do agree that your efforts are important to the city. But do be sure not to overdo it. One does not perform at their best when they're running ragged. Even a hero of justice needs to take breaks now and then. Speaking of which, you know how I feel about the health effects of soda. But I dare say you've earned a treat tonight. A quick dinner should also be ready momentarily. <laughs> yes, madam, I am the greatest. I'm proud to support you in these few small ways that I can. So, who was it tonight, then? Oh, you with the guessing games. Very well, then. Was it Slips McGee robbing all the jewellery stores again? No? Ah, so there was a battle, then. Yes, Slips McGee is quite skilled at escaping, but he always surrenders when you corner him, if I do recall. Who else does that leave, then? Reflecto? No? How about Steve? Yes, I do agree. Steve really needs to come up with a proper supervillain name. Anyway, if it wasn't Steve, then perhaps... Pharmaceuticals? The chemist using his skills for no good? Hmm. A mystical villain, you say? That does narrow it down somewhat. Oh. Oh dear, milady, is that a bruise? You didn't face some bunishment at the hands of the malice baker, did you? Those donut golems he brings to life are quite delicious. <coughs> I mean, vicious. Pardon me. Smarter, huh? Smart and mystical. Was the Shadow Garden a potting evil once again? A woman. Yes, I understand that's the last hint you'll give me. Don't worry, I'm sure I can get it from here. A battle? Smart... Mystical female. Hmm. Well, avid follower of your adventures that I am, I believe there's only one person it could be. It was the Black Rook, wasn't it? You never cease to amaze me with how many gadgets you have in that belt. You really had one just to make that sound. Well, I appreciate you thought enough to include something in your toolkit just for me, milady. But perhaps you can use that space for more practical gadgets to keep you safe. Seeing you return safely is more than enough. Don't even joke about that, milady. You are far more than just my next paycheck to me. These past few years in your employ, I have had to deal with much outside of my initially advertised job description. I have worked late nights, had to lock away frighteningly dangerous objects, been kidnapped and rescued twice, not to mention the time I drove 12 hours straight to a smoking crater in the next state over just to bring you home when you were too exhausted after your fight with Meteora. I have put up with a lot during your more distressed emotional times to be a shoulder for you to cry on. I wouldn't do all of that if I were only in this to earn a living, milady. I have seen you grow into a fine young lady that is doing her best to make the world a better place. I will not leave your side, milady. I am loyal to you because I care about you. <clears throat> Pardon me, I got a bit carried away. 
In any case, I take it I was right, that it was the black rook you faced tonight? Jolly good. Ah, the meal is ready. Back in a moment, milady. I'm sorry the portion size is a tad small. It's rather late, and it would be difficult to rest with too full of a belly. Nevertheless, I hope your favorite will comfort you somewhat after a long night. Entertainment. Ah, yes. I purchased the comic books for you earlier today. An assortment of your usual favorites with some of the more famous fictional superheroes. Quite fond of the bat-themed one, aren't you? <laughs> Not to mention the guy in the technological suit. Quite a source of inspiration to you, I imagine. Going for the gadget theme yourself. I also purchased some from smaller local artists. Look, this one has you in it, milady. That's been your dream for some years now, hasn't it? What? <laughs> milady, no! I can't join you in ecstatic dancing. It's, 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 it's just not proper. Oh, very well. I suppose I can sh me and shake a little bit to celebrate with you. Um, am I doing it right, milady? This dance from the video game titled after a period of 14 days? That's not how you spell it. Oh, terribly sorry, milady. And I, I ruined the moment using that particular dance. Goodness gracious, I am so very sorry, milady. I'm afraid I'm rather out of touch when it comes to dancing. Shall I frame the comic for you, or would you like to read it right away? Of course, milady. By all means, read of your own adventures. Yes, I'll buy another copy to frame tomorrow. Not quite sure why comics have to be unread to store them, but as milady wishes. Oh, that one. No, no, it, it wasn't my own that got mixed in. It's, it, it's for you. A, a gift, I suppose you could say. Yes, I know it's not quite your usual style. A Japanese comic about magical girls when you normally read superhero stuff. It's, well, t to be honest, I kind of hoped to use it to illustrate a point. What kind of point? Well, I don't wish to interrupt your meal, and you've been looking forward to seeing yourself in a comic for quite a long time now, and... Yes, milady, you did tell me to speak my mind more often. Very well. <clears throat> when I was in the comic book store today, I heard a pair of friends talking about this comic and how cliché it was for the, for the genre. I know it's not exactly right to eavesdrop, but something told me this was important, so I listened. They went on to expound upon the tale of the heroine facing off several times against the evil magical girl of the story, several times, only to reveal... Well, I'm getting to that. My curiosity was piqued, so, though I'm not usually into these sorts of graphic novels, I decided to read this one. And the thing is, well, I can't help but notice there's a, a very similar dynamic between you and the Black Rook, as there is between the hero and the dark magical girl in this. I've watched some of your old mission recordings, and, well, look here. The dialogue is exactly the same. Milady, uh, forgive me if I indulge in a flight of fancy, as it were, but what if things can go the way between you that they did in this story? Well, in, in these pages, it turns out her opponent isn't truly bad at heart, as the two of them come to talk more during their encounters with each other. 
the heroine finds out about a problem in the life of her opponent. They end up facing it together, and through through the, the, the challenges they face to overcome this, this problem, they end up becoming true friends. Milady, I forgive me if I am blunt, but things things are getting harder out there, and I'm not sure you'll be able to continue to handle it alone. So maybe if you can make a super friend, it might be worth worth giving it a chance. Yes, thank you, milady. That, that is all I ask, that you think about it. I'll get a bath ready for you now. Enjoy the rest of your meal. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, I know it's close to midnight. You know what I meant. May you have a deep, cosy sleep after your bath, milady. Best of wishes next time you encounter the Black Rook. And now I really must be going home, milady. Good night. And as always, your little night excursions, they're our little secret. <laughs>